Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. Today's video is again all about Maestro. Maybe you have seen my video that I did in a couple of weeks ago with the title Painless Mobile Test Automation. And the first time that I stumbled upon Maestro was on social media. And since then I'm following the, the development and the evolution of the tool on, on their Slack channel, which I also make sure to put the link in the video description to follow for you and maybe to join this great community. And on the other side to, to try out the tool and to see what are new capabilities of it. And um, just just a few weeks ago, um, I was really um, amazed by by the speed of the development and by the changes that the development team uh, is, is bringing to that product and the, to the project. So big kudos to Leland and his team of engineers working on Maestro. And the really cool part is that um, they completely involve us, the testing community, on the things they would they will develop next. And here's a great example. So here's the uh, the blog post from Leland introducing Maestro Studio. And this is what this video is all about also today. And uh, before we dive into um, the Maestro Studio, I would like to show you that blog post because that shows how engaged the developers and the whole team is uh, with, the, with the testing community and the engineering community. And they really ask people what they would like to see next and then they do it. And this is a pretty amazing example. So in this blog post, um, Leland is uh, introducing Maestro Studio to all of us. Uh, and as it just said here, it's a commu community driven innovation. And if you go on the Slack channel in the, I think it was general channel, where he was asking on the 5th of December, 5th of December, he asked like, hey folks, I wanted to gorge interest in a potential new feature. And he uh, gave like a little mock up um, and he asked like, hey, please react with a thumb up in case you, you'll be interested. And see down below, like there are 51 people saying, yes, that would be nice, even some more emojis. And then remember 5th of December, a couple of week, uh, weeks later, not weeks actually, it's only days, because only 17, uh, seven days, sorry, so, so, seven days, yes. So seven days later on the December 13th, they launched Maestro Studio and it was, I was pretty amazed seeing that product um, being available in such a short time frame, which is just incredible. I have never seen it before. Yeah, so if you're interested in mobile test automation and you would like to ex uh, ex um, ex try out a new tool, go with Maestro. It's really simple to set up and gives you a lot of potential in terms of easy test automation of your mobile application. So you can, I will also make sure to put the, the video, uh, the, the blog, the blog article in, in the video description. And without any further talking, I would like to actually show you what Maestro Studio is all about. So um, I have opened um, Maestro Studio already, so I can minimize uh, the tab a bit. So you see, if you remember, this was the, um, the first example that I did um, in, in the first Maestro video, was this really first simple test to open the, the messaging app. And whenever you, you started Maestro Studio with that command here, so Maestro Studio, and you have a running emulator, or you have, uh, have a physical device connected, you will actually see this screen. Yeah, so I will move this to the side because then you see also the emulator. So in case we just, do, so what Maestro Studio is doing, the tool is doing a screenshot of the things and then is giving you an idea on the elements that you can use. And I will just open the chat application. So it will take some time on the emulator. We hit the refresh button. Yeah, got it. We hit uh, the refresh button. So Maestro Studio is now capturing the, uh, the screenshot. It might take some time. And there you go, we have the screenshot and we see already um, the, the elements that Maestro found. So we, we found the text, the time, you can directly see the ID, you see the all, um, the all button, you see what is this, the Android system notification, you get the battery percentage and so forth and so forth. And so, for example, if you would like to tap on that button here, we can just tap, tap it, so we can tap on every element. And the really cool thing is that um, Maestro then is, is giving you the identifier, the exact identifier. So it's, in this case, it's the app identifiers, uh, 
uh, ID slash start chat fab. And we, it's already saying, okay, you can also use the different commands. You get, you get um, um, recommended by the tool. Say, okay, you can just click and copy, tap on start chat, uh, go, to your, um, go to your application. And instead of yeah, clicking, I, I played around with that one. You can just say, okay, tap on start chat, um, make this as a comment. And then there you go. You can just write and, and, and you know, um, right away what, what to do next, basically. Yeah? So that, that is really awesome. And you get different, different, um, different options, basically. So first of all, you get the visual text that is being presented. Um, other than that, you get the idea, which is way more robust because then you can go to different, um, different languages, for example. Um, you also have the, the actual percentage, the sort of tappable point um, on, the start, uh, on the start button. This has a drawback because if you change the device in terms of aspect ratio and the resolution, those points will fail. But it might be helpful in some cases if you know I only run automation on, on a certain device and it's always the same. And sometimes it's, it's uh, something is really hard to identify. This might be a solution for you. Yeah. So what else do we have? We have an assertion down below. You so you can assert visible the text. You can assert visible the ID. Uh, you also have some conditional flows here, so you can actually add some flows. Uh, so subflows that you that you, uh, that you also can see here and get um, recommended. And this is this is what I think is, is really cool. It also has a, um, a direct link to the to the documentation. So you get here and then you see okay what are all the options that you can use in terms of for the tap on view activity yeah so that that is really great and yeah insertions and and this is uh, pretty amazing to see that the development team has implemented this in only seven days and uh, it's really it's really usable I, I haven't seen any any issues so far um, of course the disclaimer I, I'm not using it right now in, in a productive uh, project but I'm, I'm really interested into the in the development of Maestro and the progress and I really like what the team is doing actually. And yeah, that's really cool. So in case you are into mobile testing and you would like to see a new tool, a new emerging tool that's coming to the market. And this is also from my point of view, it's, it's pretty, pretty disruptive because it's, it's changing the way you can automate um, really fast. Um, and you don't have to, to worry about like all this setup and all the, you know, this, the things that you can do with, with all the other tools out there and like complicated installation flows and so forth and so forth. And, and, and also the cool thing, if we take a quick look at the, oh, that's wrong, um, about the, the documentation, we have, like, as I just said, we have different um, getting started guides here. So writing, installing, Maria Studio is in here. So it also explains you how to run your flows on a CI CD system, which is great. And how to use it in, in different uh, cloud infrastructures as well. How nested flows are working, how looping is working and so forth and so forth. So that that's really great. and. It's a really great um, source um, that you can that you should browse actually before you start um, working with the tool. And what I also um, recommend you to do is, as I said in the beginning, is to join their Slack channel because it's a really active community. So people posting their issues that they have with applications, with uh, with finding identifiers and so forth and so forth. So you get really hands-on support by the developers, and that's really cool. It's really a really great community that the guys established in just a few weeks. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to share this with you. Um, if you haven't done so far, um, try out Maestro. Um, leave a comment. What do you think about the tool in, in the videos, the, in the video comment section? I'm happy to, to read all of the comments and to, to exchange them and to, to learn from your experience with the tool. And with that, I'm, I'm saying thank you. Thanks for coming by. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Leave a subscription as always to not miss upcoming videos and thank you and bye bye.